Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about wrap feature on cylindrical component in sheet metal so left side you can see a cylindrical component I have applied wrap tool on this cylindrical component right side you can see the flat pattern so this is the component I am going to create so this is useful in the product design and this is the flat pattern See, I am going to show you limitation of this uh, software while applying RAF feature on sheet metal component and I am going to show you the difference between RAF feature in solid modeling as well as in sheet metal. So before creating the sheet metal component, so I am going to show you this component in solid modeling see there is no cutout here on the periphery so i'm going to create this and later i'm going to show you in sheet metal see here so let's start now so i've taken a new solidworks file so initially i'm going to create in solid modeling so select the top plane go to sketch draw a circle and uh, diameter is of 50 mm go to feature and extruded boss and it is 120 so instead of uh, solid I am going to create thin feature so with 2 mm see here select the front plane go to feature and create one parallel plane so it is 40 mm it should be parallel to front plane and create an axis select the inside surface and say ok see uncheck this so we can see this and click this plane so now select this plane go to sketch so here keep it in wireframe and hide all types and select center line now create center point slot select the center point and keep it in inclined direction place it here So this is 12 mm, this is 80 and the angle between the center line and the horizon is uh, 60. keep it in shaded form we can see this so we can unhide the plane also see it is on the plane 1 say ok 
now select this sketch go to feature and select wrap here we need to select debose that is engraving and select the wrap type spline surface and so we have already selected this sketch ok we have to select this surface now say ok so I am going to hide this plane and axis see here now I am going to create circular pattern select this axis and the feature select the wrap so I have taken 6 instances and say ok see here so software is able to create all the instance instances without any problem so even in sheet metal we can create these kind of instances but there is a limitation I am going to show you the difference so I am going to create a component in sheet metal so select the top plane go to sketch here we need to draw one circle so it is 50 mm take a center line the 1 mm select this line measure about center line go to trim entities say ok go to sheet metal select the base flange so it is 120 and thickness is 2 mm see here and say ok so similarly I am going to create one plane the distance of 40 mm parallel to front plane say ok now I am going to create one axis select this face see now select the front plane go to sketch so here we need to draw one center line so keep it in wireframe and hide this plane center line now select the slot select the center point and place it inclined so this is 80 this is a 12 and angle is 60 so we have to make sure that uh, this line is inside the cylindrical face keep it in solid see here I am going to show you the plane see 
now say ok now we can hide the plane now I am going to create wrap feature so before creating we have to select the sketch and select the wrap here we need to select devos spline surface so thickness we have to give 10 mm see here and say ok see it is uh, creating exactly as uh, in solid modeling but i will show you difference what happens when we make a pattern see here go to circular pattern here i am giving seven instances select the axis and we have to select the feature graph feature and say ok so no doubt it will create so i am going to hide axis see here it is creating but thing is that it is not creating here so it is not there is no continuity so wherever there is a cutout on the cylinder it is not creating see here here this location and bottom side I will show you in the flat pattern see. keep it normal see here so it is not creating this here this location what we have to do in this condition so we have to unfold this component select any edge we collect all bends and say ok so keep it in normal condition now select the face create a sketch here we need to draw one slot See. so this one should be parallel and we have to measure the distance between these two edges so select these two edges go to evaluate measure so it is 6.8.68 so same distance we have to maintain Eight point six eight. So it is around eight point seven, and this is twelve mm. So we have to constrain this. So what we have to do is take a center line. select this point and simply draw like this and make it horizontal and select this arc and this line make it tangent see so before that we have to remove the coincidence now make it tangent ok so now select this line and this arc make it tangent see it is constrained now we can dimension this of any value suppose i am taking 35 so it is fully constrained similarly we have to create in other direction straight line slot simply place it here select this line we can make it parallel
so 8.68 and distance between these two lines is 12 similarly we have to draw one line make it a horizontal and select these two lines make it tangent and this one and this make it tangent you can give any value 40 mm so now we have to go to sheet metal module extruded cut and we have to link to thickness see here now select the folded option automatically takes the edge collect all bends say ok see it is folds see here see in earlier condition so we were not able to create this slot extended up to here after this cutout so we are not able to make cutout here but now we are able to show this cutout using fold and unfold see here so this is the limitation of the software with simple trick we can create these kind of cutouts see here this is the flat cut now you can see the difference the difference between raft feature in solid modeling and sheet metal module so this is brief about raft feature on cylindrical component thanks for watching